When Jaguar first introduced the XF, it was back in 2007. We were all singing along to Rihanna's umbrella, and we were blissfully ignorant of the total economics collapse that was about to happen. So it has been a long time coming, but it is finally here, the second generation 2016 Jaguar XF. Jag's rival to the BMW 5 Series and Mercedes E-Class, it never really competed in the past, but that might just change now thanks to dramatic styling, a lightweight architecture, and a host of technological upgrades. Like the larger XJ and smaller XE, the XF is now built on an all-aluminum platform, helping shed about 120 pounds, or in total, 265 pounds on all-wheel drive models. Looking like a clear evolution of the original, it uses 83% new parts and now has shorter overhangs with an overall look that's more dramatic with larger front end openings. To quantify this, it's three tenths of an inch shorter in length. It does, however, gain two inches more in the wheelbase. It's got a half inch more of rear seat legroom, an inch of extra headroom, despite the fact that it's almost an inch lower to the ground overall. Moving this chassis down the road is one powertrain in two different states of tune. You can get a 340 horsepower model or a 380 horsepower S model. Now, either of those come with a eight-speed automatic transmission, and of course, you can get Jaguar's new all-wheel drive system, which is actually default to being a rear drive setup, but will deliver power to the front when necessary. Jaguar says the top of the line model will do zero to 60 in just five seconds flat, and you can bet, knowing Jag, it will sound spectacular. Inside, there are familiar elements like the control knob gear selector, but the real highlights are the 10.2 inch touchscreen and the 12.3 inch digital instrument cluster. Using Jag's new in-control touch user interface, the standard unit has an eight inch screen, while the larger unit comes with a more advanced pro version. Now that has a customizable display screen that lets you set shortcuts and uses pinch and zoom and swipe commands. The navigation system is particularly impressive. You can advise people of when the real-time traffic data says you'll actually arrive. It will alert you of traffic on your normal route or ask you if you need parking once you approach your set destination. Oh, and it also comes with a 17-speaker, 825-watt Meridian audio system. And there's so much more. You can actually get a smartphone app for the car that will let you check your fuel levels when you're away from it or even unlock the doors. The car will actually let you know if you're approaching a new speed limit section. So if you need to increase or decrease your speed, it will tell you that ahead of the time you actually get there. And on top of that, there's a new all surface progress control. And that will actually give you the perfect amount of power to get you out of a slippery situation. The 2016 Jaguar XF goes on sale this winter, but that is really just the start. Jaguar has already said that there's a diesel option in the pipeline for people looking for maximum fuel economy, and I'm pretty sure you can bet on there being a supercharged 5-liter V8 somewhere down the line.